All right, I just wanted to show the preferred method for tying down our canoes. Uh, currently, the system that we're seeing on this canoe trailer is with trucker's hitches. Those can be nice that you can use the, you get the three to one mechanical advantage with them. Uh, but something that you'll see on every one of these trucker's hitches is that ultimately they can slide around. Um, and especially if we think about these trailers being on the highway, moving at 55, 60, 65 miles per hour, that these boats are just going to jiggle around with the wind uh, and keep on pushing things out. And the more that they do that, the more movement and shaking that is happening, that all of these uh, screws and uh, nuts and bolts that are likely to come out. Another system that I've seen in the past has been using cam straps. Those are really uh, quick. You don't have to learn how to do a knot. You just need to know how to use the cam strap. Um, but I've found that especially on the top canoes, that those can get baked in the desert sun or in any sun. And uh, I've had multiple times where I've been tightening those down and had those come apart. Using, using uh, these big ropes, um, you're much more likely to see that damage to the rope before it completely fails. Uh, you don't want to be up high on one of these canoe trailers and have something fail on you. Um, so that's the reason that I don't love cam straps being used. Right. So what I'm going to show instead is a wrap system that is going to be just as tight as a trucker's hitch, uh, but much less likely to slide. Um, especially if we think about uh, if it were to rain, all of these, all of these are going to expand just a little bit. And we want to get something just as tight as we can and something that won't slide horizontally. So what we're going to do first, we start out with the canoe as close to the inside of the trailer as possible. Um, so that it's as close to the rope on the inside. And then I'm going to bring the rope over and I'm going to weight it down nice and hard. And wrap it around the crossbar nice and tight, just as close to that gunnel as possible. I'm going to make at least three wraps, each one of them nice and tight. And then I'm going to tie a half hitch. We often do half hitches with a, with a bite so that they're slippery and can be pulled out real easily. That's actually not going to be our best method with this. It's going to leave it a little bit looser. Um, so we're going to tie this without a bite. So I'm going to take my working end. I'm going to run it between the rope and the canoe. I'm going to take the working end through the loop that I've now created. And you'll see this rope actually getting tighter when I, when I cinch this down. There we go, we saw it get a little bit tighter. And with any half hitch that security is important, so in this case it definitely is important, we want to do at least two half hitches at a minimum. So that's it, that's how to do it. And we can see if I try and loosen this up, I can't actually get that to move because it's so tight, we've got so much friction around it. Uh, we created a tensionless hitch and it's not going anywhere. Uh, so that's a very well tied down canoe. All right, thanks.